Yeah. Then continue the reason. Uh, 24 in 6, 2014 to 18 7, 2014. Helena visited Uv in Germany. One reason was to take a blood test before her departure to police wanted to arrest Helena and bring her forcefully into a mental hospital. Robert Walter Lee uh, told the father of Helena that she can leave the country in peace. Uh, seemingly, he was not informed about what was going on, what the other people had planned to do with her. Note, at the 24 in 6, 2014, and also the day before, 23 in 6, 2014, Helena's father was called very often by police and by Dr. Hogan Leek, who had the sabotage uh, 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 documents about the hospital visits, they wanted him to bring Helena directly uh, at the police station. At the airport in Oslo, after the first part of the trip, Helena received a phone call from Jan Nepal of CPU. She asked Helena right away if she still had the red stuff under her fingernails. During her staying, people from so-called food protection called Helena. Helena sent a permission to her brother Eivin and a girlfriend called Naimi that says that they are allowed to take responsibility of her dogs. In that moment, when they supposed to pick up the dogs, to, uh, uh, to dogs, two men appeared and they pretended to be from an organization called Food Protection. Without giving further information, they took all the dogs away and brought them to a place unknown. Helena got afterwards a few phone calls from several people who pretended to be members of the food protection. They told Helena that she has to pay 200 crowns per dog per day as long as she would not pick them up. On the 10th of July, Helena picked the dogs up. She was compromised by Uwe and Bert, the father of Angel. Helena had to go to a place called Josefsen's Bilbagging, that this lays in Arnal commune, uh, in Stua Arnal. The contact person from the food protection did not want to give out the address of the place uh, uh, where she has uh, 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 had to get back, uh, uh, get her dogs back until she would be in Christian So this was a way to fool me back to Norway. When Helena got the address and arrived, there was a few men who were present there. They refused to give us their names and behaved very mystical and rude. Then Helena wanted to see the dogs and asked if they are having a certificate to keep hold of dogs there. They did not want to come along with papers and didn't have that and they den denied Helena to see her dogs. Although they said they are in charge of many dogs, no animal sound was heard there. <laughs> Although they, uh, uh, suddenly Helena, Uwe and Bert had to leave the hall and like the door uh, of the garage, the place was uh, uh, closed. Without further instructions, uh, uh, they ha have to wait there. After 45 minutes, the door was open again and Helena, Uwe and Bert saw cages with the dogs inside, 11 dogs. In the hall, suddenly, a new man was present. It seems that the dogs have not been there before, they have been brought there. To the surprise of Helena, suddenly she did not have to pay one single cent for the stay of the dogs. Helena did not have to show her passport to identify herself and also she got no papers from one of the people at that place. The owner of that place arrived and did not want to speak English, he said Helena in a very ironic way, take good care of your health. Uh, yes, I remember very well. Uh, concerning the threatening with a huge amount of money for the dogs, seemingly somebody wanted Helena to leave Germany to be back in Norway. And, and that was to imprison me um, and do more sabotage and, and, and write lies about me. Uh, Angel had been frozen out by the children in the neighborhood. They started in May 2013 when the neighbors moved into their new homes. Angel constantly asked those children to play with her, but the parents of the children told Angel things like, 
she is smelling like horses and they did not uh, have space inside their houses for Angel. So she was sent home. Angel had to sit in the school bus by her own because the children said they are not allowed by, by their parents to sit beside her. Most of the time she, she has to use another bus stop than the other ones. The children of the house on the right side of Helena said to Angel that their mother, Maria Andersen, Haya, pointed out she knows the police so good and the police would put Helena into prison so that Angel had to stay alone without her mother. Angel came uh, home crying this time and, and uh, was completely emotionally uh, ruined and, and wondering where should she then be? Like, and if this will be true. So already here in the building case they had planned to you know, put me in prisons, as you notice. Uh, note, Maria Andersen is friend with Uwe Gunnarsson, the now major of Rola Commune and former police officer of Agder and Arendal and Rola, who is part of in the leadership of Rola Commune, QRF politician leader, um, and sits in the commune he, uh, yeah, headlining the commune. And he was a police officer in Fulan and Arnhem. Elena got help from FAU, telephone number 9202385 And the school hired an assistant to supposed to drive together with Angel in the bus and be there for her in the uh, breaks. In the beginning, the assistant did not show up. And after Helena talked to FAU again, the assistant entered the bus several stages after Andy got in. After a while, this assistant started to park a car at the neighbor's houses, so they knew each other. Helena wanted to find out the name of the assistant, but that was denied by the school. Helena asked again and again because she wanted to know which person is there for Angel. The person never introduced herself to Helena. Afterwards, the school told Helena that the name of the assistant is Annette Bjellan, but Helena did not find something about her when searching for her name. Angel started to visit the school in Fruland in summer 2013. After a few weeks, Angel came home and she had a breakdown. She was crying and started to be afraid to go to school. She told her mother Helena that she got beaten with fists in the belly and uh, on her back by the uh, uh, toughest boy in the class. His name is Sigmund. She was uh, 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 slammed to the ground and her classmates declared her as their slave. Uh, Angel had to give her food and clothes and toys to this girl uh, uh, to be able to be her friend. Uh, and Angel had to bring money to the school uh, uh, to buy friends. And uh, it was a newspaper article uh, of Ola Grun School of how much bullying and uh, violence between the students there. They're among my daughter. Um, and uh, the, it was an article from FAU. That's an organization that uh, takes care of that kind of issue. Uh, an internet link which leads to other commands of parents concerning bullying and violence among students at Frula School will be attached soon. The link is available at the Fruling and Facebook page. Also, then it is obvious that also other parents did not get help from the school or commune in their cases. Frula School and commune tried rather to cover up these cases. Note, the school in Frula is known for the fact to cover up things, violence, uh, uh, criminal things, and so on. So that several parents took their children out of school. One of the teachers at the school is the neighbor in the building case, Annette Obuslan. Andersen. On the 22 and 6, 2014, the CPU decided to pick up Angel from the place of Tina. The daughter of Tina, named uh, uh, Ayla, was a classmate and a friend to Angel. Angel was at this time at the place of Tina's mother together with Ayla in the CPU paper stands that Heidi Kondestar from Enrich's Patrouillen picked up Angel and brought her to Wenken Haralunnen in Wendelslav. 
they are the people who took care then of Angel since she was uh, 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 two years for some few weekends. And uh, they, uh, uh, as a, a free weekend, they uh, took her for one weekend per month. Exactly that Heidi Kornestein interviewed Angel at school 6 June 2014. The Andrews Patrol called the interview live form interview. It is printed in the CPU papers. There were no witnesses to the interview and it was not filmed or recorded. Before that interview, a not identified teacher came and gave a cup of cacao for Angel. Directly afterwards, Angel started to feel sick. She informed Heidi that she felt uh, I call it that, that she felt sick from the cacao. She felt like puking. She felt tired from it and she felt like having stripes in her head. So they gave her something in, in a cup of cacao at Fula School, uh, within under uh, uh, orders of Fula Commune and the early neighbors in the building case that uh, not only had an influence on her brain but made her sick. She pointed with her finger to the cacao and told Heidi. Uh, that this cacao makes me sick, which she nearly had drunk out. During this interview, Angel informed Heidi about her situation with the children of the neighborhood. After the interview, Heidi told Angel not to speak with her mother, Helene, about the interview, or what they have talked about, or what have happened. Angel came home and felt still very sick. Uh, Helena asked about the interview. In advance, Helena told Angel to be open and honest in this interview. Angel denied to talk with Helena about the interview and uh, she declared that Heidi Kordesta had not allowed her to tell me anything. Uh, note, nearly every time when Helena and Angel went out with the pony of Angel, the neighbors came with their cars and four-wheelers and drove by very quick and, and, and uh, close to the ponies and the horses and very fast uh, to try to scare them. Uh, photos are, uh, video footage are existing. Post B. From 12-7-2014 to 22-7-2014, Helena was forcefully, now comes the part why they fooled me to Norway, which I explained that I had to pay so much money per dog and all these things. Helena was forcefully put to medication, Suprexa. Uh, Helena got huge side effects and asked for stopping the medication. Helena felt very dizzy, very often just staring in the walls like a zombie. She, uh, Helena forgot a lot of things uh, cause of what they gave her at that time and she could not concentrate on things and her uh, creative parts of her brain uh, they stopped by giving what they gave her. Helena was a victim of a form of chemical lobotomation just to make her shut up and to give up the case. Seemingly, it was requested that Helena should also stop her documentation about political and illegal and corrupted incidents by Frula Commune and her neighborhood. Uh, all the notes Helena made on her Facebook account concerning the mentioned uh, uh, activities were erased from somebody outside while she was at post B in the hospital. Uh, they actually removed evidence and proof uh, uh, from her Facebook. Helena did not have her app laptop with her at that period of time. Helena was uh, threatened to not write lyrics about the whole case on the next album. It was a man from f working normally in the Fylkes commune. They declared the stay of Helena uh, for all the days as a forcefully observation. The people at Post B told Uwe that Helena did not want that he gets any information about her situation. Helena declares that she never said something like this. The people at Post B told Helena everything would be easier for her if she would not be with Uwe anymore. It was the tall man with the black hair to remember. The people at Post B knew that Uwe was a policeman. Helena says the false medi uh, uh, med medication for false diagnose there among uh, uh, people are, uh, was used to make her shut up and lay uh, uh, back for what they have done. 
political reasons. So it was misuse of secretary to cover up criminal things uh, happening in other political. Uh, there among, uh, um, we say, uh, uh, yeah, due uh, to uh, Judah discovered corruption and documented inhability and illegal uh, uh, deeds concerning the building of the houses and the road in uh, Helena's neighborhood. The doctor in post B answered to Helena after she asked him where she can make a complaint about the treatment in post B. If you still want to fight, you will get a forceful medication again. He threatened Helena to use the diagnose uh, of schizophrenia if she continue uh, uh, to document and, 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 and uh, continue the, the, the case. A female employer of an outstand, outstanding department said to Elena, you know what you have to do for not to come back here. Another person of that department told Helena that the side effects she suffered so much from had been so strong because she should not have had that medication at all at the first place. Note, in the papers of post B stamps, in opposite of what was reality that Helena showed a good reaction on the medication, a medication she never should have had and did not, did not need it. After leaving post B, Helena was forced verbally threatened to take the medication further for another three months. Being like a zombie. Personal notes. In late summer 2014, Helena's brother Eivind was at her property. There appeared a man who introduced himself as neighbor but uh, uh, describe, description Irvin gave did not suit to one, one of them. Uh, this man said, it's good that Helena is not here because we wanted her to move away. Further on, Irvin declared that he has been at Helena's place two times. Both times the neighbors were hiding in the bushes on the right side and watched every step he did. Very often Helena heard shootings from the right side of the uh, uh, neighborhood. Very often uh, it sound like uh, uh, ammunition uh, uh, hits stones. I had stones on the horse field where the uh, horses were. Um, you say, uh, yeah, very often uh, and, uh, the, uh, the council of the commune, former SCARP, has always been built up with the same members, always the same group, the size in the cases of Elena. It can be proved in internet on the commune website. It is not allowed that the same council members meet about more times in the same case normally, but in this case it happened. Of course it was friends and family of the neighbors and corrupted in a bit. The list of the members, uh, uh, involved members, Sigrid Pedersen, Uwe Gunnarsson, Marie Mykland, Tove Nilsen, Ingrid, Ingrid Fjärnbur Oppestad, Odvar Östrein, uh, Åge Nystedt. Uh, the mentioned people can be found on the friend lists of the neighbors' Facebook due to the fact these people are uh, preju pre preju this. They never wanted to talk to Helena when she was searching for the contact. They sent Helena out of the commune building and Helena met just uh, uh, close to us. It is not allowed to have Folkewald members in the council. This fact was found out by a journalist. Name and phone number is available. The leadership of Hula Commune let the neighbors get away with their illegal work and criminal things done to her angel and their animals uh, and support them in the crimes uh, instead of help Angel Maria and Helena and the animals. The leadership of Hula Commune hired an assistant for Angel and this assistant did not write the truth on the logs. The leadership of Hula Commune hired Andrews Patrullion especially to support the neighbors' uh, false claims uh, towards Helena instead of helping a single mother with her child in this terrible, frightening situation. In March 2015, Uwe sent an email to Ingberg from CPU with a few questions. Helena requested the answers to be sent on Uwe's account 
or on the police account. There came no answer and Ingberg uh, told Helena that she sent the answer on both accounts, but after uh, uh, three days she got a reply that the message did not get through. Helena wanted to know who gave the cacao to Angel, the name, and if the case should go over to Venesla. Uh, the current address of Helena and Angel from 2014 on, now, Helena also wanted to have the full name of the assistant. Ingberg said first that the answers are to uh, seeable for to uh, sensitive to uh, that the answers are to sensible for to send them an email account. But afterwards, she sent an answer to Helena without answering the questions. On Wednesday, the 11th. In 3, 2015, Helena and Ingberg visited the new foster parents of Angel. Although she was there two times before, I was, uh, uh, it was hard to, for her to find a way to the house. The house is unfinished inside, especially the room of Angel. The woman, mother of uh, uh, two girls from another marriage, age 14 and uh, uh, 16, asked for a talk from mother to mother. After a while, Ingeberg agreed, agreed but, but arrived after a few minutes, she came in between the conversation. In that conversation, a woman asked Elena, which is Anne-Christine Amsland, why everything is so full of secrets. She revealed to Elena that she did not see a picture of Elena so far, and if Elena had a picture. Elena showed her pictures of Angel on her mobile phone. On the way back, Elena was picked up by Ingeberg in her car. Ingeberg and Rassen asked Elena about a new Imperial album, tour plans, and if the lyrics are already finished. She was exactly informed about the concert plans of July 2014. Basically, they wanted control over if I had written things about the truth in my lyrics. Ingeberg said further that it is already confirmed that Andy will move over to this place and that people, and that people how can that be when they have not even met so far? The man in the relationship of the foster home did not say a word. The woman said after she had uh, that two girls with another uh, man, Angel should be something like the daughter of the man and her now because he had no children with this, this man by her, themselves. The couple is not married. Is the whole situation based on a hurry just to be finished before the next court date, question mark. The woman is Facebook friend with Andersen, Gunnarsson, Peterson, and all the rest of Fulham, commune politicians and neighbors who are involved into the illegal building case, who are also involved in, into the illegal building case. She told Helena that she's not able to handle emails and would have to and have no clue about computers. Rita Andersen, family of, of the neighbors on both sides of Helena's house, sent false claims. Teams are well known from former false claims to CPU. She signed that uh, uh, down, written things with her name photo comparison between Helena and Angel before 17 June 2014 and afterwards. This is before this happened to us. And this is after. Before. List of neighbors, names and family members who can be found back in the concern messages to the CPU, who is also involved in the building case. Neighbors on the right side, Hege Veronika Andersen, Ken Rune Blankenberg, Maria Andersen Heyer, Ketil Heyer. Neighbors on the left side, Annette Obruslan Andersen, Glenn Rogo Andersen, the parents of Hege Veronika Andersen, the parents of Glenn Rogo Andersen, names unknown. Andreas Ian Andersen, 
Living Place, Froland Kommune, Jomås. Rita Andersen, Katrine Hornbeck Andersen. This file is still under construction and not finished so far. This file is made to present a better inside view in the awful things that have happened to Elena and her daughter and the animals since the year 2011 by neighbors and Frula Commune and further criminal network. But then especially, especially the documented things happened in May, June and July 2014, which is called to be an acute psychosis, which was just Elena uh, uh, telling the truth, which was covered off, uh, up, we just put the diagnosis on it, which was all false. Uh, summary. Due to the uh, incidents documented in this file, Helena and Angel lost everything they had. They suffered through psychological interventions and they had to give up their life dream. They were forced to leave their home and property due to conspiracy connections and inability on political levels. In the end, Helena and Angel had to be separated, have been separated with the result that Frula Commune has now the custody of Angel. Helena asked for help several times from different people in CPU and Frula Commune and the police since 2011 because of the unbearable situation they were in and they never got help in any way and still to this day not. And we are in 2020. Uh, that is why Helena started to document the behavior of the neighbors on her Facebook page. Just based on the hope for help. Due, this is what I still do now in this uh, uh, case. Due to the real serious experiences of Elena, she is absolutely unsecure how to deal with all the cover-ups and the facts which definitely happen. Even if Elena has to live with the uh, occurred cover-ups to get Ada back, she still feels all the revealed facts should be passed over to conf confidential hands of an independent lawyer. After talking with another victim of a political misuse of psychiatric compulsion and forced medical treatments on the phone, her name is Sineuve uh, Fjellbach uh, Tafte, it was obvious to find similar connections to Elena's destiny. To mention some examples, as there are the same false diagnoses of uh, people are written on uh, her too, which she never also suffered from. She also described her reaction on the forced medical treatment like feeling like a zombie, living in apathy, the loss of creativity and personal changes. She declared that she recovered a bit from the effects after a half year, but creativity was absolutely lost and had not returned so far. She was never the same again. She was a book writer, you know, it's really sad. It really ruined her brain with medication. Uh, still, she is having problems while concentrating on things as she is suffering to a lack of remembrance. Helena searched for other people with similar histories to talk uh, to and to find a kind of exchanging experiences. At least Helena tries to make the best out of the current situation. Under the mentioned extreme circumstances, Helena has done the best she could to keep her daughter out of the horrible incidents. It was even more difficult due to Helena's status as a single mother and student without any network where she lives uh, and, and, and family members and nearby. She is still hoping for being re reunited with her daughter again, based on the stable life circumstances. Uh, away from Frula Commune and all involved circumstances. Helena told her, uh, sold her house in Frula in between. In the future, one of the most important connections should be the main term in the focus, the wishes of a child and a mother to be reunited again. The most impressive example for natural and pure character of love, a symbol which should be respected and protected and not destroyed, especially in the case of Helena and Angel. Additional information. During his stay uh, uh, by uh, police officer Uwe Smith, during his stay in Norway, Uwe had a few meetings with the uh, uh, police colleague Robert Walter Lee, declared that Jomos Vein is known 
as one of the most important roads used by criminals, for, especially for drug people and their transports. Hubert Valtelier declared to Uwe that he underestimated under, um, the whole situation and that there have been made very many falls by police concerning me and my daughter that we didn't get help and how serious things we were uh, exposed to. Around the 9th of June of 2014, Helena left the property for picking up Angel. When Helena passed by uh, the Missions Church in Yuma, she saw Glenn Rogo Anderson and Frode Carlson, uh, uh, she think the name is, with their cars and two other kids standing there. Frode Carlson, known from the drug scene in uh, Fruland, and has a military pickup, which Helena has often seen in front of the uh, drug house in Fruland, and also in front of the house of Glenn Rogo Anderson. Both men were screaming aggressive words, Tartar and uh, bitch, and after Helena. She could understand it because the window of her car was open. This was done in front of their own children. Before she left the property, she checked the horses if they are having a normal temperature by holding her hands in the fur. Since every time she went away, uh, if only uh, uh, to the shop in Frula Centrum, the horses had new bruises and were totally stressed when she came back. After Helena saw the two men, she returned around shortly after because she was scared they uh, uh, would hurt the horses again and went back to the house. She has been away from the property for approximately five, 15 minutes on the way back they were gone and the cars of the neighbors and the drug friend was gone. At the, as she came back, she found the horses totally sweaty and hard breathing. Now, Belle had new shot uh, uh, gun wounds from air guns similar to the included pictures in the file, which I already showed to you uh, uh, before. Due to the fact that Helena was called uh, Tartan and, and all these things, which I'm completely not, and the extreme uh, uh, things like torture of animals uh, was done, she started to investigate concerning a possible right extreme background of the deeds done by the included persons. So she discovered a newspaper from Fruhlanding was stopped of being published uh, uh, and a journalist got paid to silence uh, and threatened to silence uh, uh, in the issue. The main re report should have been about a, a right extreme group uh, and its Fylkesleder, who was working for Fula Commune. First, he worked for Technical Etat, and afterwards, he was a culture leader at Fula School. During the period, also, Adil was at that school, and when she was giving the cacao where she got sick from, following that, he returned to the commune as the leader of Technical Etat. Technical Etat was one of the departments the Frula Commune Helena won against by Fülkesmann several times in the building case. The mentioned man also worked together with Hans Jumas, who gave threats to Helena because of a possible documentation of his manipulation uh, of the maps in the building case. Attached are two links to give further information. If you can see that. As far as many other things in the case and its hard truth and method, it might be even mixed, be even mixed uh, in since it's given false diagnosis and things change around in Helena's doctor journals and things like that, and that no doctor helps Helena and also no police. Also, things that happen via uh, food protection. Uh, was all managed by the state of Norway and so on. A lot of documentation from Helena's Facebook account, private section, has been suddenly removed from outside. On her Facebook page, Helena was suddenly friends with people she never had invited to be there or never confirmed to be there. Helena describes her people uh, uh, from the Norwegian government, Stortings uh, representanten. Uh, that suddenly were our Facebook friends with me, working in the uh, Norwegian state. The 
that happened exactly then, when she was writing about things that happened, things that had been covered up, and also criminal interactions, which we have, she had brought out in the light. So seemingly, somebody still, uh, uh, somebody still seems to help track on Helena's documentation via Facebook. Still they do in this case. A few questions must be allowed uh, at this certain point. Who has an interest to remove things from Helena's Facebook site? Who has an internet interest to manipulate Helena's Facebook account? Who has an interest to remove exactly those topics of Helena's Facebook account which were dealing with sensible facts concerning the case, incidents which happened between May and July 2014? And at least, who has the possibility to do that with regards on the whole case and on all the things that have happened? It should be clear that involved victims come up, uh, 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 come up with their own and personal ideas about the background of this, these and their creators. Especially then when children are a part of these terrible circumstances. In between, Uwe had a meeting with Uwe Gunnarsson, the major of Fruland Commune and police officer in Fruland Commune House. Uwe confirmed Mr. Uwe Gunnarsson with many facts and discovered by his own that Mr. Gunnarsson used to declare other facts than before mentioned and proved in this file. The conversation ended with the question of Mr. Gunnarsson if we would go further with, the, with that evidence as we had. Uwe made clear to him to do so. Mr. Gunnarsson replied to that in a threatening way. Be aware that you all will probably not have a peaceful and calm time until the court is over. Said by Major Fruhlakun, Uwe Gunnarsson and a police officer. Continuing is coming soon. <laughs>